My name is Carol Hall, and I'm here to tell you about how to rate the disability rating scale reliably. It is also called the DRS. It was developed by Dr. Maurice Rappaport in the late 1970s as an alternative to the Glasgow Outcome Scale, which was felt to be fairly insensitive to progress in patients. It was tested at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center on the inpatient rehabilitation unit with our individuals with traumatic brain injury. Scale properties are that it has eight items. The first three are actually the Glasgow Coma Scale. It's rated slightly differently than the Glasgow Coma Scale, but can be transformed easily into it. Those are eye-opening, communication ability, and motor response. The second three items are cognitive ability for feeding, toileting, and grooming, activities of daily living. And the last two items are level of functioning, or the ability to live independently in the community, and employability, the ability to be employed. We'll be going into more detail on each of these items. The Disability Rating Scale encompasses all three of the World Health Organization levels of impairment, disability, and handicap. The scale ranges from zero, normal, to 30, dead. The items are in order of difficulty, starting with eye-opening and going to employability, the most difficult of the items. Limitations of the Disability Rating Scale. It is insensitive at the mild end of the scale. So if you have a population of mildly uh, disabled individuals, then the disability rating scale will not be sensitive. It is not good in any specialized short-term treatment program where we're going to be looking at short-term changes in individuals that are specialized in nature. And some items are not directly observable by performance, but are inferred. So you have to know the patient, or someone you speak to needs to know the patient fairly well. The advantages of the disability rating scale are that reliability and validity have been tested and proven over and over again. It's a very brief scale. It doesn't take long at all to complete. Uh, minimum training is required. And the scale captures the individual from coma to community. That is, from time of injury on through community functioning, which is an advantage in looking at the patient's progress over a long period of time. It is also easily administered over the phone. I will now demonstrate the items on the disability rating scale. We will now demonstrate the three Glasgow Coma Scale rating items eye-opening, communication ability, and motor response. So let's take eye-opening first. Spontaneous is zero, three is none. John does not have spontaneous eye-opening, as we can see. Uh, we've also asked the nursing staff and observed him for a while, making sure he's not just napping. He appears also not to be responding to speech, but we'll make sure of that. John? John, can you wake up? Hello? He's not responding to speech. Let's try pain now, a score of two. How we induce pain is by placing a pen or pencil on the nail bed and applying pressure. You want to try this on yourself first to make sure how much pressure you need to apply, not much. So let's try it on John now. John opens his eyes to pain, so he would get a score of two. Communication ability. Oriented is zero, four is none. Oriented means by person, by place, by time, and by circumstance. So let's ask John a few questions. Can you tell me what your name is? John. Good. Can you tell me where you are, John? I'm at the Marriott. He's at the Marriott. Not bad. He would be considered confused. Let's demonstrate inappropriate. John, where are you and what happened to you? 
Where's my robe? Okay, can you tell me what year it is? Where's my robe, Ma? Okay, John is clearly inappropriate. He's not responding to my questions, even in a confused manner. Incomprehensible would be moaning, groaning, screaming, uh, actually not saying words, and that would be a three. We're going to rate John a two with this last example, inappropriate. Motor response, zero is obeying, five is none. Localizing means that he has some purposeful movement away from a noxious stimulus. So let's try the pressure on the nail bed again and see what he does. Okay, he withdraws. Let's try it over here. He's withdrawing again. All right. Let's try a noxious stimulus to the nose. Withdrawing. But he's doing nothing to get the no noxious stimulus away. There's no purposeful movement. It's simply withdrawal. So we'd rate him a two. Now, to demonstrate flexing, if we were to press his nail bed, that's a flex response. All right. If we were to press his nail bed for a four, an extension response, it would look like this. And then obviously no response at all would be a five. Now let's discuss cognitive ability for feeding, toileting, and grooming. This is knowing how and when to feed, toilet, or groom oneself. It is not performance. It is not physical ability. It is cognitive ability. Feeding, toileting, and grooming are in a hierarchy of difficulty. In other words, feeding is the easiest, toileting is the mess next easiest and grooming is the most difficult. We now introduce the 0.5 rating system. So, for example, if a person fell between a 1 definition partial and a 2 definition minimal, they could be rated a 1.5. This was not the case with the Glasgow Coma Scale, but is the case for the next five items of the disability rating scale. Sometimes one has to contact the appropriate staff member, sometimes nursing staff, sometimes occupational therapist, or caregiver to find out how well the person knows how and when to feed, toilet, and groom themselves. None is a rating of three, and that indicates a person that's in coma or near coma. So that's pretty easy to rate. In feeding, for example, that would be someone with an NG tube, given their level of cognitive awareness was at that level. Toileting would be someone on a catheter with, and dependent in a bowel program. And grooming would be someone who showed no initiation in, in grooming at all uh, with total dependence uh, and inability to do any of the activities. A score of partial on any of these three would be an example of someone who knows how to feed themselves but does not ever initiate feeding activity. That would be a score of one. A score of two or minimal would be someone who infrequently or minimally knows how to feed toilet or groom themselves but does not initiate. Sometimes you need to ask others until you get a clear picture of what the person can do cognitively.